Welcome back to another edition of Vikings Film Room, brought to you by the Vikings Entertainment Network. I'm your host, Pete Bursich. The Minnesota Vikings continued their free agent ways by bringing back defensive back Mackenzie Alexander. Now, Mackenzie Alexander spent his first four seasons with the Minnesota Vikings, spent last year with the Cincinnati Bengals, where, let's face it, he had a pretty good season. Played in 13 games, started 10, had 47 tackles, six passes defensed, one interception, and a tackle for a loss. So he continued to play and be the guy that we know that he can be. Now, the prodigal son is going to bring some veteran presence to this young secondary. So let's take a look at the film and see how McKenzie did last year and where he's going to fit with the Minnesota Vikings again this year. When you take a look at McKenzie Alexander, I think a couple things stand out immediately. Number one, he's very physical, and it's very hard to be physical these days in the NFL as a defensive back. The second thing is he brings a lot of awareness to this defense and to this backfield. He knows what receivers want to do. So you take a look at this first play against the New York Giants, see McKenzie Alexander, the bottom of your screen in the slot. Doesn't get the you know doesn't get any penalties on this now, so that's a great thing. He just lets the receiver kind of the tight end kind of come to him, but he knows with that shallow crossing around underneath that this tight end is going to either run some type of bang eight or some type of in route. So he stays right on the hip of that tight end, and when the ball is thrown, he almost intercepts this football. So this is great awareness. This is exactly what uh, you know what Mackenzie Alexander does so well right there summed up now. And man to man, you'll see him here. This is a pretty simple play, uh, you know, bunch formation. He comes across a ball snap, does a good job getting over the top of the pick, and then he's able to get there and, and make a play. So this is that's a nice a nice example of what Mackenzie Alexander is capable of. But then at the end of the play, you see him with his arms down, giving a little taunt to the wide receiver. Those are the things that you wish he would just kind of grow up and leave behind him. He's a good football player. He doesn't need to do that. And later on, we're going to see where that kind of comes back and bites him a little bit. Again, at the bottom of your screen, this is going to be another example. His distance off the slot receiver is exactly where it needs to be. When the ball snap, he takes just a couple steps back, recognizes the run action, the RPO action, knows this ball has to get out quickly, just plants his feet and then takes a proper angle to the upfield shoulder, and he's right there to break that pass up. So that, that's two great plays, really, in the slot by Mackenzie Alexander. So, awareness. All right, against the Pittsburgh Steelers, Big Ben. This is a third and long situation, third and 12, and that's very important here because you're going to see the route that Pittsburgh is trying to run. The first receiver comes up the field. He carries him to take him until the linebacker can get over the top. Now there's a shallow cross coming underneath. That's the, that's the, that's the cheese route. And really, McKenzie just holds his ground, plays the football, intercepts his pass, and brings it back 21 yards, a little bit of high step, and then, of course, once he gets out of bounds, Dahl's teammates around him, he's gonna get in the face of the big offensive lineman. So, you now he likes to mix it up. Let's face it, he's got that, that, you know, kind of has that fire about him. In this case, against the Pittsburgh Steelers, J.J. Smith-Schuster was held to three receptions and 15 yards in this game, and Mackenzie Alexander spent most of the time really on top of him. But the beginning of this route, you'll see, you'll see the slot receiver work his way inside and then start to work back out. Now, McKenzie has outside shade on him, so as soon as he runs that outside route, he's there to collision him and to come underneath, forces Roethlisberger to throw the ball deep. So that's great, a great job covering these short kind of underneath in and out routes, which is what a nickel defensive back is going to have to do. Okay, another shot of McKenzie against J.J. Smith-Schuster up in the slot. Again, his distance off, everything is really good. As soon as Schuster works the out, he's working on it, but then Smith decides to whoop, bend it up. Now, Roethlisberger ends up getting sacked on that play, but that was a double move designed to pick on him, and it really wasn't there. So great job by McKenzie. All right, against the Philadelphia Eagles, to see him down on the bottom in the slot, rolled up. But this is just a wiggle and go, and he knows that that receiver is going to work his way to the sideline because that's where all the space is, and he gets right in that hip. So that's great awareness, and he's able to run with the slot receiver. We've seen our, we've seen Gladney had trouble with that route a couple times this year, and he does a great job defending it there. Now, next play, red zone against the Philadelphia Eagles. You'll see McKenzie on the top of your screen walked out against the tight end. Carson Wentz wants to go to Ertz here at the bottom of your screen. Now watch McKenzie up top. He jams his tight end. Once Wentz can't go to Ertz on the right side, 
He's looking back for the other tight end. Well, that tight end is on the ground. Wentz has no outlet. He tries to pull this thing down and scramble. It ends up being a sack. So that, against a tight end, a bigger body guy, McKenzie can still handle that one-on-one -on -one coverage in space. All right, again, against J.J. Smith-Schuster in the slot on the top of your screen. About seven yards off, keeps his feet square, doesn't turn and run, breaks up on the ball. Another great pass defense on an out route. Now, you'll see after the play, he decides to stand there with his arms crossed in front of Smith-Schuster. Now, he gets the flag. Fortunately for McKenzie, this was offsetting taunting penalties. So, they have to replay the down. Now, this is the very next play. You'll see McKenzie again walk down the slot on Smith-Schuster. Schuster ran an out route on the play before. This time, they're gonna to try to get McKenzie on the in route. And once he recognizes the in route, he is making a beeline for that upfield shoulder gets that right arm, the outside arm underneath, gets the upfield hand down in there to break up this pass. Another great play. So they tried to get at him twice in a row. The first time, well, he decided to, to mouth off and get a flag. Second time he makes the play. Just a great job on the slot. Now, against the run, McKenzie does a great job just really feeling his way. And you'll see on this run, Schuster's trying to get underneath him. He stays square, recognizes it, throws his body in there. You see Schuster at the end of the play just kind of walking away like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> he just read that play too well. So in the run game, he's effective. He gets a body in there. He stays square. Fundamentally, he does a very, very good job. The whip screen, something that we see all the time. You'll notice... As soon as Wentz lets go of this football, Mackenzie Alexander is already beelining to get outside to try to turn this thing back in because he knows he has a linebacker and a safety. He cannot let this reception get outside. The receiver tries to cut him. He stays up, works to get his head across, and then makes the tackle. So that is an outstanding play on a whip screen on the outside. This is just isolation. They're just trying to get a guy one-on-one -on -one in some space and you know get and, and get a couple yards. But Mackenzie recognizes it and does a great job. As a blitzer, lining up at the bottom of your screen, coming off the edge, chasing Wentz down. This is something that we've seen the Vikings do with him a lot. He has that versatility. That's what that's what I like. He, you know, he's very physical, he's smart, but he's also very versatile, and you can use him in the blitzing game. On top, another blitz. You'll see the receiver go in motion. He knows he's not, he knows he's blitzing, so he tries to just kind of slide his way in. Blitzes in between the guard and the tackle. Now he sees. Zach Ertz come back underneath. He knows the play. He recognizes the play. Puts a move on Ertz, gets back up, bam, makes the tackle for a loss. So that's an outstanding play by Mackenzie Alexander. He's a veteran. He understands what receivers are trying to do. He uses great body position and physicality. Very, very smart. He uses all those things to better his game. He does a really good job on slot receivers. We just love to see him grow up a little bit and cut out the antics. He's a damn good football player. He doesn't need to tell the rest of the world about it. Just play your game, buddy. Quit drawing the flags, and I think he's going to have a great season.